No point guards anywhere to be found. A one-man wrecking crew on the offensive end. And an RSHK legend coming back to wreak havoc. All that and more as we learn some magic. And separating them by weight, we should see... Magic! Shut up, you weirdo. Magic. Let's talk about some magic. Magic don't do a lot well. They are a bad team, to say the least. Uh, maybe if you ask uh, Paranoid Heat fans, you'd say, well, they beat the Heat really well, even though last year they only beat them once out of four times. But they did beat the Heat earlier this year, though a lot has happened since then, and the teams have gone in completely different directions. One thing the Magic do well, as they are a really, really big team, is they offensive rebound well. Uh, they are actually 10th in the league in offensive rebounds per game. And without Bam, Miami's gonna have to make a really concerted effort to get on the glass. But we all know what the Magic are all about, and that is Nikola Vucevic. They just want him to get the ball anywhere and everywhere on the court. Thanks to Vooch, the Magic are the seventh in the NBA in points created off of post-ups, which is kind of their bread and butter outside of the dribble handoff, which we'll get to later. Vooch can also work in that mid-high elbow position, much like Bam, and can pass out of it and create a lot of opportunities for his teammates. Uh, so expect a lot of double teams and forcing other Magic players to do the work. So it's going to take a full team effort to stop Vooch, but it shouldn't take a full team effort to stop the rest of the Magic. Don't be surprised to see a little zone sprinkled in there. Uh, Eric Spolster loves to run the zone whenever there's a big man that can post up a lot. But now the Job's doing his magic show. Oh boy, a stupid magic show. We gotta watch this. As mentioned before, the Magic don't have a lot going for them right now. They are a bad uh, three-point shooting team. They don't create a lot of pressure to the rim, no north-south action to be found. A lot of this can be attributed to the lack of point guards on the roster and a lot of reliance on Michael Carter-Williams. At one point, the Magic were relying on Aaron Gordon to run their offense. Yikes. But with no Aaron Gordon playing and Evan Fournier also out, there's not even secondary playmakers for the Magic to roll out there right now. This in turn has led to the Magic being a bottom five team in assists per game and passes made per game. They not only play at a slow pace, but they also don't do a lot with the possessions that are given to them. Which is why you have to be careful with those offensive rebounds. Don't give them any more opportunities than they already have. So yeah, it's not surprising why Orlando is a bottom 5 team in terms of offensive rating when they had to rely on Michael Carter-Williams to be their north-south threat. They've also had to rely a lot on the Vooch, uh, Terrence Ross 2-man game, which is very similar to the Bam and Duncan Robinson game. The difference being that Terrence Ross is a much, much worse shooter, shooting at 34%, and he shoots a lot of contested shots coming off those dribble handoffs. The man is a certified chucker, uh, but you know, with chuckers, they can get hot, and that leads us into... Whew. RSHK's everywhere. There is a lot to choose from here, from the aforementioned Terrence Ross, who is a RSHK legend. Uh, Michael Carter-Williams, whose best game came in his first game of his career against Miami. Or Skyforce legend himself, Kim Birch. But I'm a big Kim Birch fan, so eh, I'll let him slide. But my prediction is going to be Mo Bamba. I'm guessing he's going to hit like four trailer threes out of nowhere and block like three shots at the rim. Why not? Yeah, there's a lot to choose from here. I didn't even mention Chase on Randall or Dwayne Bacon. I mean, yeah, T take your pick. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm going to go pray to the basketball gods for Bam's knee. Goodbye. Magic missile. Magic missile. I'm out of mana.